Here tonight, a Claremont County Republican is under fire for a social media post comparing his lawsuit to lynching, and he's defending it while party leaders call for action. All to WCPO 9 News reporter Jessica Hart. It, it's totally offensive and utterly despicable. David Whitehead with the Cincinnati NAACP can't believe a Claremont County politician posted this on social media. It's hard to believe that someone is looking at a lynching action and equating a squabble that they had with someone to a, a lynching. Christopher Hicks is a member of the Claremont County Republican Central Committee. He is suing the committee and posted this image underneath the case number. Well, the post has to do with, you know, with what I really think is abhorrent is mob justice. And so the imagery I used on there of a lynching was related to mob justice. Claremont County Chairman David Painter says Hicks is under sanctions for behavior unbecoming of a central committee member. Painter didn't elaborate on what prompted the sanctions. Hicks claims he's a target for trying to weed out corruption in the party. I think a lot of people, when they look at the post, they take issue with the image of you using uh, a picture of someone being lynched. Do you see what's wrong with that? I think that uh, imagery that stirs emotion in defense of stopping injustice is always appropriate. And I would think that the NAACP would particularly get that. To have that comparison serves to minimize the severity of past atrocities. It should not have happened. It should be denounced. The Cincinnati NAACP called on the Claremont County GOP to denounce Hicks Thursday. On Friday, they did just that, writing, quote, this racist behavior further justifies the current sanctions and requests for him to resign from his elected position. There's no way in which someone should have a, a graphic with a traumatizing image of some person for some personal gain. Whitehead says this is an example of why teaching black history is important. Hopefully through education, he corrects his, his actions in the future. To see nothing wrong with this, that's probably a bigger problem. Painter tells me they will have a special committee meeting on February 21st where they'll talk about this post. He says they'll also decide whether or not to officially sanction Hicks. Evan.